Hawaii's Kilauea volcano has finally blown its top, shooting dangerous gas and ash into the air. And scientists warn this may not be the worst of it. CBS 2's Randy Page is live with the time lapse video of the eruption and what a world renowned seismologist thinks about the volcanic activity. Randy. Pat, as you know, whenever we have an opportunity to sit down and speak to Dr. Lucy Jones, we learn a lot. Here's one of the headlines All volcanoes are not created equal. In fact, that's a very important and good news for the people of Hawaii. This time lapse video, taken from a nearby observatory, captures the massive explosion that sent ash and steam 30,000 feet into the air. So, how did it happen? This animation shows a cross section of the volcano. You can see the molten lava lake up close to the surface and the plume of magma that feeds it. The blue area is the underground water table. Eruptions that began a couple of weeks ago opened up channels that allowed the lava to leak out. Soon, the lake was empty, and before long, the lava sank below the water table. When lava hits water, it creates steam, which is fine if the steam can rise up into the air. If we get rock falls, those will come in and trap the steam. Like the lid on a pressure cooker? Yes and eventually the lid on the pressure cooker gets blown off where it's weak. Seismologist Dr. Lucy Jones, founder of the Center for Science and Society, says Kilauea is not the same type of volcano as Mount St. Helens, which exploded in 1980, killing nearly 60 people. She says volcanoes in the Pacific Northwest, including Mount St. Helens, have thicker, stickier magma that can cause much more severe explosions. But Kilauea's eruptions can cause health problems from poisonous gases and thick clouds of ash. It's never going to be a Mount St. Helens level, but it could be bigger than what we've already seen. We learned so much more in that interview. In fact, we put it on our website, cbs2.com. If you want to learn a whole lot more, just stop by. See you then. Back to you.